Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Company Interiors channel. My name is Nick Clark and in today's video we are going to be looking at another autumn or fall wreath made with small pumpkins. Uh, very seasonal for this time of year. We're in the autumn or in the fall and this is very poignant because we've just opened up our North American office. So we have an office now in the UK and Canada shipping all of these amazing preserved plants and mosses around the world. So in today's video we're going to show you in this series how to actually make an autumn wreath with pumpkins, very Halloween, very very autumn, very fall, uh, very now this time of year. So let's go and have a look at the video. Um, if you like these sorts of things please always make sure that you subscribe, click on the notification bell and leave us any comments. We love to read those or even see some photographs or videos of some of the things our customers are making with our products. So let's go and have a look at the video now uh, Denise is going to be making today. Hi, Denise here with Company Interiors. Today I want to show you how to make another pretty fall wreath. I'm working with the reed-based wreath form here. Uh, very nice structure, big fat wreath, uh, which is great for doing displays with. Um, and the style I'm going to work with today is going to create like a simple swag style on half of the wreath. So you'll see as we go along how we put that together. Um, I'm working with eucalyptus. Uh, I've got a few different varieties of the greens and blues styles of eucalyptus here. And I went ahead and pre-cut um, a bunch of pieces off the branches. They come in nice big um, packets. And a lot of them have the curvature to the branches already, which is perfect because that, as you'll see as we go along, that gives you a nice um, sense of movement to your arrangement. And some are like the longer stem pieces. So just start grouping them together in your hand. Some long ones, some shorter ones. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You're just creating a little bunch but just be trying to be mindful of which ways they're um, they're poking, sort of to give some like structure to you, to what you're doing. So as I say, I've got quite a few pieces here. Already worked with them to group them together. As you can see, as I'm putting that together, they're pointing out in different directions. You just group those together in your hand, hold them loosely, a few different types. You can use any types of foliage you want to. In my case, I'm using the greens and blue, bluey greens colors because um, it worked nicely with the oranges I'm gonna put with it. But if you'd like to go with more of the um, red tones, there's lots of be beautiful eucalyptus comes in the other colors, colorways as well. So you group all of those together. Then you take your uh, trusty floral tape, cut a few pieces off. I pre-cut some here always easier just to cut it ahead of time when you're working and just literally group those branches together. Super simple, nothing complicated about this but just uh, give you the idea of how to work with these elements. So group those together so that you have like a literally a little bunch. Okay that's your starting point. Now you can start embellishing that with other elements. So um, I had a few different ideas I was working with before I came online here today. So you could start with some of the um, red ivy uh, or this one I think is actually the red salal, it's the slightly flatter leaves um, and some of these uh, beautiful scabiosi. So that together would look beautiful, gives a nice um, traditional kind of look. But I'm going to work with today just some um, uh, artificial flowers. So. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you can work with preserved materials and artificial things together uh, to give quite a nice display. So it doesn't really matter, you can put dried, artificial, preserved all together in one arrangement. Um, all I would do when I'm working with any of these artificial things, these are just sort of cheap ones from the craft store, is take the leaves off. They just literally pull off or clip them off because I think it's the leaves that look the most artificial. So if you're working with the beautiful preserved leaves, you can put some of these on for some color interest and you're not drawing too much attention to the, the leaves of these um, artificial pieces. So again, I've got different length sizes here. So I have a longer, a medium, and a short piece. I think if you work with different lengths, it helps give you that interest that you need to pull your arrangement together. So a longer one, a medium length, and a short one. Again, just group those, hold them all in the same place on your little bunch like that. Simple, take a piece of your pre-cut 
floral tape and secure those in place. So now you have a pretty little bunch of flowers and foliage. Straightforward. I would then take my clippers and trim off, oops, got my leaves stuck to that, trim off your ends here just below your tape. Sometimes they're quite difficult to cut through. A good heavy pair of clippers will do that, no problem. So now you have perfect little display. So this could obviously be used for lots of different purposes. In my case, I'm going to use this for my wreath. Make sure that's tucked in tightly. I have another one that I'd already created. So now I have two of these little pieces. So that's what you need to work with is two little bunches together like that. There's lots of things you could do with this, obviously, just on its own, if you want to put that in a little pot or a container. But in this case, I'm going to take these two branches, uh, two little bundles, and I'm going to secure them together to form a little swag. So if you can see that together like that, that would be how it's going to be held together. So I'm going to take some more florist tape and secure those two pieces together. Make sure you have a nice long piece of the tape. I love this stuff, it's great to work with. It sticks to itself. And the green one obviously is perfect with the foliage so you don't see it too much. So cross over the stems of your two branches and you want to kind of keep them in a, not a straight across way, but in a kind of angled way like this and secure those together. Now you could use these uh, together like this for lots of things. If you wanted to put it across the top of a mirror, for example, um, create a swag to hang on the door that just like that. Like you could literally have these two pieces like together in a swag form like that, put a pretty bow on it and just hang that on your door just in the way it is like that. But in our case, I want to secure this now to our wreath base. So once you have those two secured, you want to position that on your wreath, just like this. So hopefully you can see how that's coming along. Make sure you have some long pieces here of your greenery. It looks quite effective having them splayed out to the sides like that. And you can either having it positioned so that it goes uh, diagonally across the top, or you can try and curve these slightly more. So if you just position the two pieces slightly more perpendicular to each other and position it on so it sits on the wreath slightly more in a rounded kind of way. So once you have that positioned where you want to put it, and then take some more of your tape, or you can use um, florist wire, like 28 gauge wire for this would also work very well, but uh, I'm gonna use the tape because I have that handy next to me here. And just feed this through your uh, wreath, base, and then around your display. So you would do the same thing with wire if you had that handy. So just position that around, make sure it sticks to itself and secure it tightly in place. You can put the glue onto the pumpkin or onto the arrangement, whichever works for you. Just make sure they're sort of secure in place. Love this hot glue. It all is uh, it's very effective, very quick for craft projects. So I'm just doing a little cluster of these in here. Watch for the glue strings. So there we go. Hopefully you can see that on camera. It's quite effective there. The orange pumpkins with the little flowers. Uh, and the beautiful preserved greens makes a lovely little display. So I think I like that just the way it is. Uh, I might just tweak that off camera slightly, but I think for now that's a perfectly lovely arrangement and would look beautiful on any door or uh, you could hang it on a mirror inside if you want to put it over your mantelpiece would look lovely uh, on a mirror or uh, in a living room, wherever you like to put that. So hopefully you enjoyed that project. Um, stick back with us if you'd like to check out more projects with company interiors and other ways to use preserved plants and flowers. Thanks for checking us out.